Did you know that in late 2021, Google Ads quietly released a major change to the way that keywords are targeted in Google Ads? And the scary thing is, is that most people aren't even aware of this change, including so-called Google Ads experts. If you are not aware of what this change is, and more importantly, if you haven't actively taken steps in your Google Ads account and also your optimization strategies, you're gonna be wasting a lot of money in Google Ads. Not only will you be wasting a lot of money in Google Ads, you are very likely to see the number of conversions and sales drop dramatically. In this video, I'm gonna take you through what the change is, but more importantly, what you need to do in order to combat this change to make sure that your campaign is still seeing daily success with Google Ads. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. There were actually two main changes. Now the first change was that now with the Google Ads that you actually target, that the broader match types capture all queries of narrower match types. So what this actually means is that if you're targeting a phrase match keyword, Google will now automatically also match any exact match keywords. And then if you were to add in a broad match keyword, in your Google Ads account, it would automatically target phrase match and exact match keywords. The reason for why I highlighted this change is that three to five years ago, it was quite common practice for that when you would set up a Google Ads campaign is that you would set up a separate ad group for your broad match keywords. You would then also set up another ad group for your phrase match keywords. And then you would also set up another ad group for your exact match keywords. But with this change in the targeting, that is now no longer required. Also, it is now not also required to put broad match, phrase match and exact match keywords to the same keyword in the same ad group. So what you wanna do now, if you only wanna target that exact match keyword, you would just place it in as an exact match and no other keyword types. And if you wanted to have a bit more of a looser or a broader match, you would just put that keyword down as a broad match keyword and then you wouldn't have to go back and add in either phrase match or exact match keywords in that ad group. And the second change and the more important change is that exact match keywords are actually no longer exact match. And that is because Google Ads has expanded the targeting of exact match keywords so that your ads can actually show in searches that have the same meaning for your keyword. And they've given the example here that the exact match keyword of lawn mowing service could also appear for keywords such as grass cutting service. So previously, if you had the exact match keyword in your campaign, baby earmuffs, your ads would only trigger when someone had typed in the term baby earmuffs in that exact order. So if they had have typed in earmuffs baby, your ads would not have appeared. The exact match keyword meant exactly that, is that not only did the keywords have to match, but the order also had to be the same. That is now all changed because Google is now relying on its own meaning. The problem here, and this is the change that you need to make in your optimizations, is that sometimes the meaning would not actually be correct. Let me show you an example. Before I get into this example, if you've got any specific questions on how this change in the Google Ads match types relates to your campaign, I would be happy to answer them for you. To get your question answered, just simply subscribe to my channel and then leave your question in the comments section below and I'll come back and answer your question for you. Okay, let's get into the example. This is the example that I wanted to show. So the product is kids earmuffs and it's actually All Blacks Kids Earmuffs. So in their Google Ads campaign, we actually had the exact match keyword of All Blacks Headphones. But you can see here with the match type change to be meaning, Google has actually picked up all of these other keywords to mean the same thing as All Blacks Headphones, including All Blacks Merchandise, All Blacks Onesies, All Blacks Rugby, All Blacks Rugby Jacket. And you can clearly see that this is something that we are not offering on this website. And further than that, it's got nothing to do with this individual product or the target market that we're looking to attract. So now, Google Ads if you've got a highly specific product and a highly specific target market where you want to only be targeting search terms such as All Blacks headphones, what you need to do is you actually need to go through and do a search term audit every seven days. Now to complete your search term audit, you wanna go into the search term section. I'll just remove this filter. And you can see from here, we're now seeing all of the individual search terms that triggered our ads. And then from here, it's just a matter of going through this list line by line and picking up any other keywords that we don't want our ads to trigger for. So from here, I can actually see here AirPod Gen 1, we don't want it to appear for that, and also all Jabra products. So to stop our ads appearing for these search terms, once we've selected those, we then just simply add them as a negative keyword and press save. This simple action of completing a regular search term audit in your Google Ads campaign can make sure that you overcome the change in Google Ads match types to make sure that you're not wasting any of your precious marketing budget. Completing these simple optimization checks to make sure that you're optimizing your Google Ads account as much as you can is the reason why I put together my very own Google Ads optimization checklist. In this checklist, it goes through and lists what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account every week, every month, and every 90 days. And you can get your free Google Ads optimization checklist right now. 
All you need to do is follow the link in the description below to get yours today. Thank you for watching this video about Google Ads match types. And if you wanna see my full three-step process and how I complete my Google Ads keyword research for my own Google Ads campaigns, why don't you check out this video right here. Thank you again and see you next time.